Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to Oxygen Not Included with me, your host, Lucky Marine. And no more people, please. Not just yet. Oh, we do seem to be getting low on our fresh water. This is a little bit concerning. Uh, we need a we need a pump down here. A gas pump in this general area, but we'll wait until they've got rid of the the random gas pipe. Ah, uh, we'll go to speed three because no one has time to wait for speed one. Come on guys, wake up. We've got much us to do today. Well done. Can we... Bottled oxygen. Can we empty that? That doesn't seem to be a thing. Doesn't seem to be a thing. Oh, it's alright. Alright. Let us get... This here. There we go. I'm powered up. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I know. Just because we, you can see, you can see in the background we, where the collection of carbon dioxide is. Um, yeah, confirm it using the gas overlay. Uh, but you, you can see the buildup, much like you can see the hydrogen buildup uh, up here. I contaminated oxygen. Uh, you just know where things are starting to build up. Which is nice. It's nice. Yeah, the majority of the stuff that's getting pulled along now is... <laughs> is, um... Fresh. Fresh air. Usable oxygen. So let's disable you for now. There's no point in chucking power into you just yet. Even though we can filter the oxygen out, there's no point in just... Yeah, that continuing. And we will deconstruct all the gas pipes from here onwards. But we won't be able to, so let's build them. All right. Random bit of mesh tile here for no other reason than maybe expansion in the future. Well, no, not expansion, but it just makes it look a little bit better, a little bit cleaner. increase athletics is now 17 she's lagging behind Lenny with his athletics of like 25 or something the restroom is built that's fine Lenny level 24 runner 24 athletics wow he just runs just runs just for the hell of it pump down gas I beg to differ I beg to differ Urine gas. <gasps> Maybe you're not. What is this? On the floor. Is this a vacuum? Usually the the, the grey area that you get is a signifies a vacuum. Let's see if we can see a vacuum spot. Yeah. Here. Might be a water as well. It could be a water, I suppose. Like similar to here? Maybe the one tile above the water is classed as water as well. It's not coming up as vacuum, so I would assume it's waterish. So we'll move that up one, deconstruct you, and we'll just shift you up a mesh tile or two. Wow, that's an obnoxious noise. It's still an obnoxious, obnoxious noise. Uh, we'll get the power in as well, so we don't have to open that screen again. All right, sort that out. We on the stairs as much as you want. We'll catch it. All right, so now this. Carbon dioxide into the system, quite a lot of it. That'll be good. So wherever it collects, wow, what was that? So, so whatever it, it, wherever it collects, we can s switch on the specific gas 
pump. Alright. This better not be hydrogen down here. Nope. A little bit of contaminated oxygen probably from this pipe up here. Yep. Coming in from the now switched off, I hope. Yeah, now switched off, pipe up there. But this will just feed in as and when it can. That's alright. System working here. Carbon dioxide. This one filters out oxygen. This one filters out carbon dioxide into the carbon dioxide. Filtration system and the contaminated oxygen gets split into the contaminated. All right. And this backup means that there is 10 kilograms of carbon dioxide in this chamber here, in this vent. And it backs up when there's 10 kilograms. So we take out this vent and we build another one. It's just an easy way. We, we can look in this general direction and if there's a gray square in these legs or a vomit colored square in these legs, then we know it's, it's time to change out a vent. That's doing all right there. Uh, it's a bit weird that the carbon dioxide is making its way up this wall, but you know, who are we? Who are we to say? Okay, so changed out this vent. We still have this in the pipe above, but the obstruction has now gone. So let's put the vent back. I will observe that. Done. Another 10 kilograms hit. Think I'll short cheap. Nine point three kilograms. Yeah. We have kilograms worth of carbon dioxide getting built up in these vents. And every time it gets to this stage, we just swap out a vent and it gets rid of loads of it. So we're doing we're doing alright so far with in terms of gas management. We let in quite a bit of contaminated oxygen from this area here, but it'll get dealt with. It'll eventually get dealt with. It'll get sucked into a pump at some stage. So out of this room, it's either pure oxygen or it's steam that gets turned into water, which in turn gets sent via a filter. Because if we have to do anything in this room and someone vomits in here or urinates in here, we want to filter out the bad stuff straight away. So that's that's why we have the filter in. But the, the cleaning water passes straight through and into our fresh water tank. There we go. I wonder, let's disable you. I wonder how long we would live off just the oxygen being created it in our systems. How you get on? Yeah, any oxygen that enters this system gets spat right out here. So it, we're just transferring oxygen from here to here now. Which is no no bad thing. Yep, oxygen gets spat out here. Contaminated on. Splits the carbon dioxide. And they both get dealt with. Wow, we've got... No, you need a pipe to link you to event and it must mean that all of these have 10 kilograms of carbon dioxide in them so you 
you, you, and you. 10 kilograms, 10 kilograms, 10 kilograms. Right, cancel the... Yeah. 10, 10. Need to vent. 10. Alright, uh, swap them out. Ooh. Bottled carbon dioxide. Hmm. There we go. That's the, the maintenance that we have to do in order to get rid of carbon dioxide without having to use sand. I'm fine with that. And this little trough thing is starting to come into its own, it is starting to work. We've covered the vents, but any excess will spill over into this area where if we needed to, we could run uh, another system, much like this one here, um, with vents in it. All right, we can probably turn you off now. Yep. Disable you. Alright, and there we are. Carbon dioxide pocket dealt with. Because carbon dioxide sinks to the bottom, it's programmed to sink to the bottom and go right for some reason. For I don't know why. Uh, same as hydrogen, is programmed to go up and to the left. So uh, it is kind of emptying out of here. This was full of hydrogen. Uh, so we, we opened it up in the hope that well, if we opened this up, and we also opened this up up here. We'll actually open this door as well. Uh, and we want the hydrogen out of here to percolate up to the ceiling and then just continue its journey left into this corner where we have our pump to our hydrogen to our, well, into our filtration system uh, and we can bleed the hydrogen out. Now, let's get rid of gas pipes here. This is just an aesthetical thing. Alright, yep, do that. And open that door and close this one. On you go. Oh no, it was just because Lenny was... No, Floyd. Floyd was in the uh, middle of the door. That looks a bit better. Looks a little bit neater. Uh, let's dig out here in order to hopefully aid this hydrogen out. And we need to make plans this way. So. Let's dig into it along this line. The manual airlock. We'll put it here. They constructed you and you. You haven't got pipes in you, have you? Nope. You should have, really. You should have these, uh, these gas pipes in you. Oh. Uh, we'll put a manual airlock in there. This is going to be for a biodistillate plant over here. But it also allows us to dig down, link all these together uh, and get pumped down here. To pump straight into, well, a, a vat of stuff. It's kind of a mix of contaminated water and normal water, but it'll be all right. 
It'll be alright. We also need to dig this out and put a pump in the bottom of here. Let's also get some ladders so you can get out. We don't want a Sadie Mark II on our hands. And dig you. Nope, not dig, deconstruct. Now, do I want this to be thermally insulated? Is there any reason for it to be thermally insulated? It would make sense. It would make sense. Every time they open this door, they're going to let any heat build up in this chamber out. So, let's try and... Wow. I need to go sort my hands out at some point. I need a, ch I need a change of hands. Alright. I will just thermally insulate to stop any ingress. Well, you can't stop heat ingress, really. Um, no. No, that's a lie. You can. You can. We've done well over here. We've done well to keep it out. Uh, same on the bottom. It tracks through the tile a lot better than it tracks through the thermal insulation. So... That's working. Why are you at 65 degrees Celsius? And random, random electrical wire again. All right, destroy that electrical wire and we will rebuild it. I don't get this. I do not get this at all. All this for that matter. Right, when they deconstruct this little bit of wire, it'll turn into copper, superheated copper almost, and it'll sit there. Electrical wire, 878 degrees Celsius. <laughs> and it'll sit there and you'll just see a massive plume of heat rise and it'll dissipate and we'll put the wire back in. Wow. Mega uber heat. And then we'll just put the normal wire back in once it's sort of cooled down. We don't want them to use this bit of copper that they've left to make the, the wire. Otherwise we'll just be into the same issue as we were before. So we'll let that sort itself out. We'll probably end up put, trying to put these in the bin or in bins. So we'll try and sweep them up. See if that gets rid of them. Yeah, if we allow heat to run amok in this area, we'll just, we'll end up killing all our plants. Right, have you cooled down a bit yet? A little bit. We'll give you some more time to sort your life out. And I think we're going to change this airlock. If in doubt, Take it out. Put another one in. I, I mean, why is this ladder only 17 degrees Celsius? What's going on there? A little above copper ore at 65 degrees Celsius. I mean, what's. And it's coming down. It's coming down in temperature. But why is this ladder 17 degrees? And why is this still 126 degrees when it's not even switched on? Talking of not even switched on, what's that, I guess, like? Not bad. Not bad. Uh, someone come and turn this guy on. And yeah, let's prioritize. Now let's cancel this sweep and then prioritize the sweep at level 9 just to get this into a bin somewhere. Getting this bit. This one, whatever it was, I think it was uh, cultivatable soil again, over here. That was hot. Getting this one swept away into a bin has helped, unless we've got a hot bin somewhere. Got a hot bin? Might it be in here? Might be in there. You can't... 
we could put bins down here quite easily um, as long as we could get to them probably like here and here so if you find bins with really hot stuff in them then we'll just move it into the water all right so that's done a little bit to get rid of the heat generation in this area still don't know what this was all about still 59 degrees celsius i don't want to put another door here and then to use this copper ore block and just have the same issue over again so we'll wait until this gets down to proper room temperature at about 25 30 degrees and then we'll use it but let's get that wire put back in and let's deconstruct you this looks a lot better up here it's a lot neater this is unfortunate but there wasn't much we could do about that how are you here for hydrogen so it has pretty much vacated this area a little bit more to go a little bit there which can only have now come from in here and hydrogen generator pumping away hydrogen well not hydrogen generator hydrogen not even hydrogen just anything anything gas pump pumping anything that comes into it which because of its location is mainly hydrogen up and to the left And it'll probably suck in a little bit of the contaminated oxygen as well, which is nice. How are we getting on? Hydrogen generator at 926 degrees Celsius. I think he's doing all right. Any of the hot spots that we can get rid of. Any random hotspots that shouldn't be there. I mean, these pipes here, they're a bit. They're a bit hot. There's no there's no correlation between why is the gas pipe here 23 degrees, yet this gas pipe is 45 degrees. Is it because there's something beneath it heating out? Not really. I'd understand if above these that do get quite hot, fair enough, we may well end up. digging out a little bit here building a shelf for them and, and chucking them inside the hot room I can understand the pipes above these getting hot I can understand the pipes that make the way out of the hot room getting hot being red into orange and then yellow and then green the further away they get I can understand these pipes being hot even though it's cool steam coming through them cool steam? yeah cool steam you heard me right Uh, steam at oh, steam at 105 degrees Celsius. I'll light off. Steam at 114, 109. Of course, we took out we took out the extra extra two coolers that we had stacked here and here, and so we had steam coming down this pipe that was 60 degrees, something like that, 50 degrees. So. Yeah, we had cool steam come down. So yeah, I understand that this pipe, if it was to be hot now, uh, if it was to be hot all the way along. But I mean, why is why is this, this gas pump? Why is the metal of the gas pump itself in this room only twenty two degrees? It's just there's random temperature fluctuations. I don't get them. I'm sure they'll be ironed out. It is still alpha. It's, it's, I like how it affects different parts. Um, and that's very, very, very promising. Um, not only gas management, but heat management, especially when you've got plants that rely on a specific heat zone in order to grow. No, no it's, uh, it's good. I like it. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, once Mildred has got her ass in gear and into bed, that will be us for this episode. There we go. Oh, and we'll uh, we'll not get another one. Not just yet. So this 
this episode has been mostly about just trying to get rid of the heat sources that are knocking about, just random ones. I don't mind stuff here, I, I don't even mind these two, but just the random stuff like the random bits of wire and the random door. There's no need for this door to be 60 odd degrees, uh, but we've swapped that out. Uh, we've also got the carbon dioxide building up in the places where we have the pumps, the hydrogen building up in places where we have the pumps. The contaminated oxygen, we can't really confine that to a specific place just yet. Might end up putting a pump up here, feeding into this pipe, because it'll just send all the contaminated oxygen down into the system that we've already got set in place to deal with contaminated oxygen. Uh, all these vents are fine, there's nothing up to 10 uh, kilograms in there. And yeah, we're doing alright. We're doing okay. We still need... Oh, we have dug this out. So now we've dug this out, we can put a pump in the bottom of it. And we will pump the water into... This pipe here. Because this pipe here goes into the filter. And any gammy water will pass through the filter and back into the room where we create steam and oxygen, oxygen, and all the fresh water will continue on its merry way and fill this tank. But for today, that is us. And uh, in the next episode, we'll, we'll continue this way. Uh, we need to tap into this body of water down here. Um, chuck a pump in it. Yeah, depending on if it breaks through this wall, uh, we'll come straight down here, trick a pump in the bottom of here, have it wired up, have it ready, have it prepped, have pipes going to it, and then we'll mine through. Um, so it's, it's sat in the bottom uh, already. If you try to ladder down to the bottom of a body of water to put a pump, it just gets to the point where it's unreachable because they can't hold their breath to get down to the bottom. And we'll have our slime factory going, uh, turning slime directly into algae and contaminated water. A little bit of heat, but we don't care about the heat over here. And we'll probably airlock quite a portion of this and pump all the air in here into this pipe which is our contaminated air pipe well contaminated air struck carbon dioxide pipe as this is going to be horrific in here all right so from floyd and mildred and ming mai and lenny it's good night I've uh, been looking Marine. As always, you have been amazing. Join me in the next episode when we do really cool stuff. All the cool stuff. Alright, do take care.